That is why Tuina as the ATM was saying come the 29th of May, Ikumkani will be respected in our country. Ikumkani will be given a meaningful role in the constitution. Ikumkani and our religious leaders will not just ask them to pray, kupele lapo, will ask them to take decisions on behalf of their people. There we go. Uh, we are going to welcome the president of African Transformation Movement uh, to come and give us an address. Ubaba uh, Vuyoluetu Zungula. He is going to make his way to the stage. They've asked me before he could ascend that they would like him to ascend with a song here. Please play that song. Let me take this opportunity to make a Hoshe Hulu, Tate Warona, to make a say Marena Kaufela, to make a say Sichaba Kaufela, Rona Ribatuba ATM, Ribatla Hueleboa Sibaka. Because everything comes from God. The fact that Rikopane Mo, it is because Kimo Dimo or Atehuri Rikopane Mo. Raiz Upilo Baru Nakaufela Kibu Pilo Obutua Komo Dimo. That is why Runa Kimuha Rimuhatro Wabatu Abashompa Abatsaba Modimo Abashon Pabat. Because how Sheba Sichaba Saluna Rinyaka Bite up, Billy. Abashon, Abashon, Papa, two, but have a motive. Because if we've got leaders who fear God, those leaders will be able to respect the people and do everything that is right by the people. Even in the beginning, God created Ba Inkosi Zetu. And it was Ingosi Zetu that were presiding over God's people. 
That is why Inko Osi had Intambi so that the anointment of being able to take care of God's people. What happened after the colonizers came to our country? We lost ways, we lost our ways of respecting Inkosi's aid. That is why you find Huri, Rina, we have, we do have Inkosi in our country, we do have um, kings in our country, but they're not given rightful space in their governance of their own people. But what we want to say, Runa, as the ATM, that we need to correct everything that is wrong in our country. Sichaba, Hari Luki say everything that is wrong in our country. Auna mutu ototra from another country ato atlo luki sichaba salo. Auna mutu who's going to come from anywhere else. The people who have got the responsibility of fixing our own country, it is us. This country belongs to us. And because this country belongs to us, it is us that must fix this country. A lot of people say they do not want to get involved in politics. But politics is involved in everything they do. The reason why Batubanali load shedding, it is because of politics. The reason why Rinali a high unemployment, it is because of politics. The reason why education system, Yaruna, is not anchored on, on our mineral wealth, it is because of politics. Now is the time that we need to shape politics to be politics that are centered on the needs of the people. Runa is the ATM was saying number one, economy of our country must belong to the people. We can't have an economy that is belonging to a white minority, whereas Tina, as the owners, as the indigenous people in this world, in this country, we are poor. There's one thing that we need to correct in our minds. We are not born to be poor. And being black does not mean we ought to accept being poor. We need to change all of that by making sure, Huri, our minerals benefit us. If you go to the Middle East, they are, they are, they are having oil there. Who does the oil of Middle East benefit? It belongs to the people of Middle East. But come to South Africa, they will tell us Rinali Platinum, Rinali Gold, Rinali Diamond, Rinali Chrome, Rinali Coal. But are we benefiting from those minerals? We are not benefiting. But the people who are going to change all of that, it is us. When we are growing up, East South Africa was made in South Africa. Kona no, South Africa is made in China. Jim told that we are wearing, they are made in China. Even the plates we are using to eat at night, they are made in China. Everything in our houses is made in other countries. Whereas we used to have factories in our own country, and these factories were creating jobs for our people. That is why Runa as the ATM was saying, Utoma Sankara was correct, Thai city. Let us consume what we produce and produce what we consume. Tina as the ATM, unapologetically so, we are going to open all factories or factories in all districts so that we create jobs. When it comes to education, we are saying that the education must be skills based. We can't be teaching our children things that they are not going to use. The education system must give skills to our children, skills that are required by the economy, so that by the time our children are leaving the school, they've got skills they can utilize in the economy. And particularly, it must be those skills that are anchored on our mineral wealth. Because Kona know we've got all of these minerals, we take them overseas as raw as they are, and we buy them at a later stage in high prices. As the ATM was saying, those minerals must be processed here in South Africa in the locality that they are coming from. And we export finished products that we are going to be able to make money. The last thing, key safety. We are not enjoying our lives as South Africans because we are fearful of criminals. 
even Conan know the fact that we've got so many people that are carrying weapons, protecting Khosietu, it is because of criminals. Why must we live in a country whereby it is us that are not enjoying their lives, but criminals are freely enjoying their lives? We do not agree as the ATM that e-criminals must be given a soft treatment. A criminal must be afraid to be a criminal. Apota si kula kona la onto tangu tozi idi soiga ubangu tozi because umte tebezo dila na yo. We are saying as the ATM, ama police must not be made to fear otozi. Ukuba i police listen akini li ate kwangu tozi maliti imelondo. Those criminals must be shot up until they die. Because we can't live a life whereby we are prisoners in our own homes. You've got a parkla system, you've got an alarm system, you've got e electric fence, all to protect yourself from criminals. Those criminals must know their place in South Africa are equal under the ATM government. We are also saying as the ATM, our kings had a death penalty because the manner in which our kings used to govern their places and their kingdoms was that if you have a person that is refusing to coexist with other people, they used to be banished to other places. I thought we umdanga shali numpagati because atakwazu pilisana numpagati. But ukuba lom to lowo akafunu pilisana numpagati u terrorize umpagati ikumkani a city mlom to law makabulawe. Masingo yi kukuba i punishment yabanya bantu kukubulawa. Because kukoto tabatatwa yo apa basiwe jele, bati tabefike jele, papinde babulale. Because in mondo yabo, bafuna usolo kabe bulala. So, it death penal to flake it into a core South Africa to protect Abantu Abapila Kakushi. Siazi, Kukabantu Bati death penalty this, death penalty that. Inyani M Sula Iti, we do have a death penalty in our country. But this death penalty is for law abiding citizens. This death penalty is for innocent citizens who are killed like flies in our country. That is why we need to live in a safe country, a country whereby our children get to have the best education, a country whereby the economy belongs to South Africans. We can't have an economy that belongs to foreigners. Our minds belong to foreigners. Our gold belongs to foreigners. Our township economy belongs to foreigners. You find that the Nazi South Africans see Pilela Uba poor. We do not want that as a part. As we are sitting down, in the city of East South Africa, Lilizuelene. And East South Africa, Mailungi Swenini. It is something that is wrong, Bazali. Ukuba si zoshala si complain. Ukuba, he load setting this, he crime that, unemployment this, but in Enzani. What are you doing? And what will your children say? Because Abazali, Bashele, Batite do not want to involve them in politics. I want to remind you, my parents, you have a responsibility as a parent to make sure, Kuba, your own children inherit a better country. That responsibility is yours. It does not belong to a politician. It does not belong to a president of the country. It belongs to you. That is why Runa or Luna as Batswati, you need to go out on the 29th of May and vote for a leadership that is respecting God, a leadership that put God first, a leadership that respects elders, a leadership that wants to transform our economy. The responsibility is yours. Because many a times, we complain about e corruption, but when the time comes to vote, it is the communities, it is us that vote for the corrupt people to go back in power. So, the problem in South Africa, 
you know, I'm speaking with confidence because I'm under the guidance of Ikoshikul. And we know Ikungani to Iteta Inyani. Inyani that we need to understand. The problem in our country, it is the people that are sitting here. Because these people are going to complain left, right and center about the state of our country. But when the time comes to vote, they go back again and vote for the very same people they are complaining about. So that is why Tina as the ATM was saying go on the 29th of May, vote. In the, and when you are voting, think about if you share When you are voting, do not only vote for a food parcel. And I want to make this example. When those people are coming, bringing food parcels to you, you must eat those food parcels. food parcels. But it's only voter. So no voter in food parcel is open. Voter only in leadership is open. Info no zeno pambi. See ATM. We are not shaken. That is city. In course, ne kumkani zetu mazishoni chwe. Not just being a ceremonial king, but they must be given a meaningful role in the governance of Abantu. Because he has to go back to Gaben Kumkan. A Kum Tungoa Kiapa. Everyone belongs to Ikumkan. Now you can't have Ikumkan that does not have a space in the governance of his own people. That is why Tuina as the ATM was saying, come the 29th of May, Ikumkani will be respected in our country. Ikumkani will be given a meaningful role in the constitution. Ikumkani and our religious leaders will not just ask them to pray, kupele lapo, will ask them to take decisions on behalf of their people. Thank you so much. The president of eight everybody. Aramu Shapele Maboho. Aramu Shapele Maboho. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Those words are very encouraging words and very powerful words.